What's going on everybody? It's Vince with the Rooted Long Co. Thanks again for tuning in. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and I appreciate you guys so much. I'm blown away by the support that you guys have shown me on this channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're watching this, you have an interest in the Rainbird timer. Uh, or you just want to know about irrigation and how you can have the cheapest irrigation setup. Maybe not the cheapest, but a very cheap in-ground irrigation system at your home. Take a look back at the other video in the series. I discuss how I trenched it, how I laid it out, um, and then I uh, laid all the pipe that's, that's needed and set up the irrigation heads in the lawn. This episode we're going to be talking the Rainbird timer. Got these at Home Depot. Uh, they're about 35 bucks each. Uh, pretty cheap. I did a lot of uh, research on different timers. Amazon had some that were good, uh, but I, you know, there weren't very good reviews on this. But I decided to, to go with Rainbird, uh, full, full, full send. So I went with it. I'm happy I did. Uh, I'm gonna go over all the features and how to set these up. So stay. The backflow preventer works. Here's your arrow. The water is gonna go this way. and it'll prevent it from going that way, all right? So you wanna put it the correct way with the arrow. So I'm gonna install mine down here a little bit. That way I have some wiggle room down here. To do so, I'm gonna put some Teflon tape and put a three quarter inch mail to PVC adapter there three quarter inch PVC adapter to here. I'll cut into my line and that's where that's gonna sit. Next, I'm gonna start working from my faucet down to the rest of the irrigation line where the two lines will tie in. This here is just a hose adapter for outside faucet. Here's the setup. It's got the outside faucet, comes into a T, 90s down into my uh, Rainbird. We got the Rainbird um, timer, non Wi Fi. Um, here comes down to a 45 to catch this into my backflow preventer. Remember to have your arrows the correct way so you have water flow. And again, with this one, off the T, I shoot down to here. I 45 into this line. Uh, this line here, uh, this one is going to be to my bed irrigation. I'm not going to hook up this timer yet.
here's my timer setup. I have an outside faucet, I have a cross, and I have one zone, two zone, and this will be for an planter irrigation, drip irrigation next year. So the Rainbird timer. You have several features with this timer. Right now I have it on the off setting. When you want to start it, you'll leave it on the auto. This will allow you to water however many days you want at whatever time you want and for how long of an irrigation setting or time that you want. First, you're gonna to wanna to start your clock or set your clock. You'll click up and down arrows to set what time it is and you'll click okay. Next, it's gonna say what day is it? Right now it's Tuesday, or if it was Monday, if it was Wednesday, you just use these arrows, but it is Tuesday. So now we're set. Set a start time. I have it started at 3.45 in the morning. Early morning waterings are best. So 3.45 a.m. If I wanted to change that, again, just use these arrows and click OK. Add a second start time. Say I just seeded my lawn and I want to do a afternoon watering. I would hit the up arrow. It takes me to yes. And then I would hit okay. And you would repeat the steps to set that time and that duration of watering. Speaking of duration, how long do you want to water? There are different ways to see how much or how long it takes to get a half an inch of water for each watering. You want about a half an inch to an inch of irrigation or, or rainwater on your lawn per week. So I do twice a week and I calculated, again, you can do a tuna can challenge, um, but you can calculate how long it takes you for that zone to get a half an inch of water in. So it was 30 minutes. So I would click OK, and then that's set. Lastly, how many days do you want your irrigation to run? I have it set at a Tuesday, Friday schedule. If it's going to rain, I'll come out here and I can hit cancel watering, or I can just turn it off. Again, very super simple easy to use. One downside is that you can't do more than two waterings, but all you have to do is click water now, turn it on, click water now, set your duration of how long you want it to water, and click OK. You'll hear it click on, and the timer will begin. and the watering starts. I just hit water now. We're watering for 10 minutes, but oh no, it's summertime and a freak thunderstorm's coming. Simply hit cancel watering. It turns off my irrigation heads and it stays back onto auto. Now, if you don't want any waterings at all, turn off. These run on two AA batteries. The battery packs are in the back. All right, that's it. Super simple, super easy to use, super easy to set up. Uh, again, I'm very happy with this timer. I'm not sponsored, not affiliated with Rainbird, but this is an awesome product uh, despite any reviews. I uh, hope you learned something in this video. If you did, comment below. Let me know if you like this, if you use this timer before, or what timer you use. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next part of this series.